Hi guys, so uh, it's Princess here this week, and as you can tell by the title of this video, something exciting is happening to me, finally. I am moving! Yes, I am moving away from home. I decided I wanted to live alone, and I couldn't deal with my parents anymore, so just kidding, that was a bad joke. Um, I'm actually moving away um, to a new city. Um, in the same country just for this program I'm going to be doing for a couple of months. So it's called School of Ministry and what it is is that you go away um, to this place for a while and you live on the church campus and you it's basically just getting to know God more like a deeper level and you meet people and um, there's like a ministry part like you travel to a different country and it's all so exciting and I've been looking forward to it for what well, feels like 10 years, but has really only been like five months. Um, I've been looking forward to it for that long and it's finally happening. Today is the day I am leaving home. Um, if you guys could see around me, my entire room's like a complete mess, but I'm hoping to be able to vlog a little bit of the journey, like going to that new city and you'll see like a little bit of my moving process I guess um, so yeah uh, nice voice crack process apart from that just getting that out of the way I will still be filming um, you'll just probably see Leanne a lot more than you will me and stuff like that and when you do see me I obviously won't be in the same setting um, but there is a scripture that has been on my heart and I'm gonna read that this is going to be a really short video because I just wanted to update you guys. Um, but yeah, last week when I realized that, oh gosh, like I'm moving literally like in a few days, it hit me really hard and I was just like, wow, I've been so excited for this for so long and now I'm like terrified of leaving home because I've never done that before. And going somewhere where I don't know anyone and I have to come out my comfort zone, which is this room. This is literally my comfort zone right here. I do not leave this place unless I have to. Um, so like, as far as the social life goes, uh, no, don't have one really. I enjoy my own company very much so. Um, so going away is like kind of like, it, it got to me a little last week. I was just like, hmm, don't really feel prepared anymore. Like, um, and then the scripture that, it's really cool actually what's been happening in the last week is whenever I'm feeling some kind of way, like God just like throws a scripture in my mind. And I'm just like, I doubt myself all the time. I doubt that it's actually God's voice. And I'm just like, okay, I'm sure I just like thought of those numbers, like Isaiah 42. I'm sure it just came to my head because I made it up. And then I'll just like open it just because. And when I go read it, it's exactly what I'm going through. So like, yeah, God's so cool. He's just been throwing scriptures at me, like based on how I'm feeling and stuff like that. Just been a interesting week it's been exciting but it's been kind of scary it's been kind of sad at the same time because I finally got the job that I love so much God blessed me with um, in this year that I've been off school God just gave me this amazing opportunity to work at a coffee shop and that's something that I've been wanting for so long like um, just I've just had the dream to make lattes and to make cappuccinos and yeah stuff like that and God finally came through for me and now, on Friday, I had to say goodbye, and I've only been working there a few months, and I was like, guys, I'm sorry, I really love you, but I have to go. The Lord is calling me. So, yeah, that's been sad. Um, this is something that he just kind of spoke to me when I was feeling, like, nervous. I was like, crap, I don't know what to expect anymore. Like, I was excited, but now I'm, like, not sure about it anymore. Like, I'm going away for five months. Like, I don't think I've ever left home before by myself. I've always traveled with my family. Um, anyway, so it's Isaiah 42 verses 16. I will lead the blind by ways they have not known. Along unfamiliar paths I will guide them. I will turn the darkness into light before them and make the rough places smooth. These are the things I will do. I will not forsake them. <sighs> and when I read this, like I was just like saying it over and over again that I will lead the blind by ways they have not known that he goes ahead of us and he makes the rough places smooth. And so that's just one of the things that's been giving me a lot of peace about this. Um, 
yeah perfect Isaiah 41 just one chapter over um, it says it's verse 10 it says so do not fear for I am with you do not be dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you and help you I will uphold you with my righteous with my righteous hand um, yeah that's another one just God reminding me princess chill I have you in my hands you don't have to fear you know um, I'm with you I'll never leave you or forsake you so just rereading those scriptures again I was like yeah like I think I can do this now sorry I have a scratch on my leg um there was something else I wanted to mention just how this whole school of ministry thing came about was through me taking a gap year and that was not on purpose so I'll probably explain it in another video sometime um, but I was supposed to go to university this year and then something happened and I didn't end up going because of just stuff, you know, stuff happens. So I didn't end up going this year and then I was like, oh my gosh, what a waste of a year. I'm just going to be home doing absolutely nothing, working for no reason. And this year did not make sense to me. Like my friends were traveling, like my best friend from England is in Zambia right now doing ministry and I, I'm just like and so many other people in school and I was just like god like why do you have me working here doing nothing with my life um when this is not the way it was supposed to go so I was kind of just like annoyed with god for a while and then I got over it and I was like okay you god you know you make sense um so yeah now I feel like this year is finally starting to make sense and when this whole thing came about at the beginning um I remember scrolling through the website and um, reading about the school of ministry and stuff like that and reading about you know how the schedule goes daily and stuff like that and I remember just like in the midst of me being so frustrated with the fact that I wasn't going to school and stuff just being on that website I had so much peace like I felt like the Holy Spirit was telling me that this is where you're going you're gonna end up going and so I had so much faith at that time I was like okay great like God is making him a way like I can feel that he's telling me this is, uh, that this is <laughs> that this is the right place for me to go and um, like I was supposed to go that semester and then it didn't happen so I was like okay God like you gave me peace about being on this website so I thought it was happening now and I guess it's not now so I am still working for half the year or for the whole year anyway so then I was just like okay um, and then the second semester rolled around and we were like okay we can do this now you can actually go to school of ministry and everything started to fall in place and I'm just so thankful because that peace I felt before is still with me now um, just knowing that this experience is going to be something that changes my life. I know that it's definitely something that's going to challenge me. I'm already challenged at home <laughs> beforehand. I have to make some like serious decisions and stuff like that. And I just need God's grace to do that. And I'm just really excited for the people I'm going to meet. And just hopefully to just rise to a new level in my faith and just know God more and I have been talking for almost 10 minutes so I'm gonna go now um, but yeah so you guys please pray for me and I will be praying for you guys and um, I will still be making videos just maybe not as often as Leanne and stuff like that so anyways I love you guys thank you so much for your support and for watching and um, like subscribe and share and I will try vlog while I'm there so you guys can see the cool things and if I travel to a different country or anything I'll make sure to film that too um so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys another time bye so this is me trying to move this is the state of my bedroom at the moment and um i'm starting to realize that i need a bigger suitcase hey guys so i am finally about to leave home i uh, just got all my stuff in the car and we are getting ready to go um, so I will show you guys when I get there and just like little fun events that we do and stuff like that so bye hey Selena <laughs> hey Sarah hey, so this is my roommate and this is my other friend so the roommate finally showed up Hi. And now our lives are complete. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. That's a nice name. Hi, Sarah. 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 Hi